Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I feel like doing my makeup today. So I figured I, since it's the Christmas and holiday season, I'll sit down and do like a holiday makeup look. And I've already primed with my Milk Hydro Drip Primer, Hydro Grip Primer. This should have been in my November favorites. I forgot to put it in. I love this primer, it's so good. So I'm gonna start out with my Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Flawless Filter. I have it in shade seven. This is one of my favorite products from her. So I just do like that in the center and I put like a little hair, just to have that little glow underneath my foundation. And then I go in with my fingers and I blend it out. All right, so for foundation, I'm using her Airbrush Flawless Foundation, and I have it in the shade 14 Cool. This is one of my foundations in my foundation of fun. And with this foundation, it's very, very, not only it's full coverage, to me it's very pigmented. So it's very important that you don't put a lot. So I usually just go with one pump. So I do one full pump and this has more of a, well, it's cool, more of a red on the tone. I didn't know that cool meant red. I thought all oh, saw cool meant yellow. So I don't go in with too much because it gives me that um very reddish undertone, especially when it settles like um, into my skin. I feel like the undertone is redder than I would like, pretty much. So one pump covers my entire face. And as you can see, it's it has like this strong red undertone. And that's why I also don't like to put too much because this can get into Oompa Loompa status. All right, so I went in with my Benefit Boing Cakeless, Cakeless, I always get tripped up over the Cakeless, Cakeless Concealer in the shade nine. I usually use shade 10, but this foundation is so kind of like red. I like to use like a lighter color to kind of balance the foundation out. And if you looked at my last video where I did my favorites, this was in my favorites. And like I was saying, this is the best concealer. <laughs> I've ever used and I'm sticking to that right now it is so good guys I'm using my Huda Beauty Tan Tour her cream contour in the shade tan and like I said again because this foundation has this reddish undertone I don't pull it down all the way I just like to leave it halfway like here and then just take the brush and blend it out and I keep it like to the back the back of my cheekbone all right to set my under eyes i'm going in with my lower mercier secret brightening powder this made my favorite this is so good such a good powder this is in zero two and this is for medium to deep skin tones it's so flawless so flawless and i'm gonna put some on my eye on my lids for base for my shadow and look see how easily it blends out it's so good oh it just makes my under eye look like satin <laughs> all right you know I like to stop once I put my under eye powder and start on my eyes I'm using this brow bar this product I got from brow bar I got it in my um, boxy charm I like it a lot because I Every day my brows look uh, different. I'm not good at doing my brows, but I do like it. It's nice. This is like the the nicest thing in my boxy charm this month. I didn't really like my boxy charm this month. Anyway, as usual for my transition, I'm gonna and of course I'm gonna do glitter because it's holiday and I love glitter. And I'm using my Viseart palette, of course. And I'm going in with my favorite shade for a transition, and it's this shade right here. 
And since it's not like an overly pigmented shade, I just go through my crease like nothing is precise. I just wipe it in there, pretty much. Then I'm gonna use my Tati palette because I think her palette is the perfect palette, but I'm gonna use another palette as well. But I'm gonna start off with her palette. And I'm gonna start off with two shades in the metallic row. These two shades right here, I'm going to layer them. These nails, I mean, I like them and I may have to get rid of them. I'm, I'm punching everything. I hate seeing my palettes messed up. So I'm gonna put this on my lid with my finger. I'm gonna put it all over. Then I'm gonna go back in with that same blending brush and blend it throughout the lid. I don't care if any gets into the crease. Like I'm the type of person, I don't care if glitter, satin, metallic shades get into my crease. I actually like it that way. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with this shade right here next to it. It's like a beautiful peachy kind of shade. I wish one of her um I wish one of her glitter shades had more of a gold tone though. None of them are not, are not really like full gold. It's more of like tan or silverish or reddish tones. So I'm just gonna blend that through, mix it in with the um the matte shade I used from my um Busy eye palette and now I'm gonna take um because I want gold somewhere in there as a base and those don't have enough gold for me so I'm gonna go in with my Tom Ford quad and this is zero four suspicion and I'm gonna take the gold sh the gold shade in here that I love so much as you can see it's the most used and I damped my hand on a um, makeup wipe and I'm just gonna put that right here, like on the center of my lid. And I'm gonna be generous with it. I'm gonna put a lot. And then I'm gonna go in with one of her glitters over top of this, but I just want to have more gold. Like somewhere in there, I want more gold. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take the brown shade and I'm just gonna put it on the outer edge. I don't want matte on the outer edge. I want like a sheen on the outer edge. So put that right here. And just kind of blend and just keep it right here. I'm not gonna take it in any further. Just to define it, but how is, I wanted to have like that little sheen before I go in with the glitter. And I'm gonna put something on my brow bone also before I go in with the glitter, because I want that to be the last thing that, that I do. And I love to put my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Copper on my brow bone. Bear with me guys, I'm using my magnifying mirror because I am blind, I always say that. And I like to put it like right underneath there. And then I like I just go in with my finger and blend it out so it wouldn't look so harsh. Look at that, my brows kind of lift up, so. Maybe I should have put more of the, um, the gel. So I'm gonna do the first one, the second one actually, right here. I don't wanna stick my finger, I don't wanna gouge it. I also damped my finger on my um, makeup wipe, and I'm already getting my finger in there. You don't need a lot, but I want, I wanna pile it on. <laughs> because I've never really piled it on. So I wanna try piling it on today. And I'm gonna put a little tissue, there is fallout, so I'm gonna put my paper towel like right here, and then just go in. This one not look pretty. I think it looks so pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead also with my caviar stick, and I'm gonna put my caviar stick in my tear duct as well. Oops, it's not even rolled out. And I'm gonna go in with lashes and liner and I'm gonna be right back. Right, so I am back with lashes and liner on. Um, I'm wearing Coco Lashes in Goddess, but 
for some reason this batch seem a little shorter than what I'm originally um, used to anyway so I'm gonna powder my face and I've been mixing powders and I mixed the Anastasia loose powder in deep peach with my Fenty hazelnut powder and I like the way it looks with um, I like the way it looks with this foundation and I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender as usual and just pat it around my face anyway so I'm gonna go in with um, contour and I want everything to have like a sheen since it's like Christmas glitter and sheen and highlighter so I'm gonna use this um, my Tom Ford quad and this is this is in zero five flicker and I'm gonna use the contour part and it's not matte and I'm just using this little brush where is it this is a little elf brush I've gotten um, in a set I'm just gonna put in I think it looks pretty especially with this um foundation because it's not too red I didn't want to use anything that had like a red undertone since the foundation has a red undertone I'm trying to cancel all that red but I just love this foundation all right so I'm gonna go in with finishing powder and I'm using my Jaclyn Hill feeling it um, luminous powder well at least that's what she calls it but I have been using it as my finishing powder and I absolutely love it and I just go around my face with it and this huge blush brush blends it out and even if you use like a lot like I just did didn't mean to it still doesn't look crazy like it's still it's still wearable it's really nice and I love the color let me just take these clips out now it's just beginning to like hurt my head Ugh. I was trying to put my hair up today to do this and I couldn't find that little um a little thing I use to put my hair up. I need to wash it and I need to, um, I need some henna dye. I usually dye my hair black. And that's what I need to do before Christmas. Anyway guys, so now um, for blush, because I love using blush. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury, her Glowgasm Face Palette. I have it in Love Gasm. I don't really reach for this as much although I love it because you're always reaching for something else when you have too much damn makeup <laughs> so I'm just what I like to do I like to mix these three the three darkest one two three and as a blush on my face I just mix all three together like that and it just makes my face glowy and that's what I'm going for I'm gonna set my face with my Murphy setting spray of course so now that my face is still so damp I'm gonna go in with highlighter Jacqueline cosmetics her highlighter is very good don't listen to what you all the drama channels are saying it's good <laughs> and I have it in the shade amped and this is like a beautiful peachy gold shade and I'm, I'm threading lightly at first I like to build it up because if you go in too crazy it gets really crazy yeah just like that gets it can get very out of hand very quickly and I like to swirl my brush around in it for a while just to like move it so it wouldn't settle in one place and look kind of tacky Whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna put on my nose. All right, so for the lips, I want something, I like my lips with Kylie Jenner's True Brown K. It's down to the stumps. I wanted something very glossy, almost kind of like wet. So I'm gonna pair this with Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. 
and then I'm gonna put a gloss on top. And this is like a nice nude color. And I'm keeping it more to the center because I want the outer part to be dark. Then I'm gonna go in with this gloss from MAC. It's called Golden Age, and I think this would be perfect because it has a lot of gold and it looks, it just looks beautiful on. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this holiday, Christmas? Anyway, guys, so this is the end of this look. I love the way it turned out. I love the eyes. That tattoo palette is fantastic. Um, for the holidays, I'm definitely gonna venture into that silver soon. I'm gonna take a risk. I don't think I've ever worn silver eyeshadow. Anyway, guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you've come back to my channel, thank you. And I'm gonna see you guys again in my next video. Bye, guys.